Well, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course. Okay, so first up, there is a new thriller that you can see right at Milwaukee's Oriental Theater. Yeah, absolutely. Very excited about this. This Friday, we have a new film from the legendary Wisconsin-born Willem Dafoe. Uh, his new psychological thriller is about an art thief who gets trapped in a New York apartment while he's committing a heist, and he has to use his smarts to get out of it. Uh, Dafoe has a great track record of choosing really interesting, quirky films, and this is no different. Um, so very excited about this. Reporters actually talked to Defoe recently, and he had this to say about his role. It taps into something that's very basic about performing, and it's about uh, doing things and uh, being present. So it, uh, they aren't conventional scenes in this, but there are very strong actions. And those objects, those works of art, um, the house, they are strangely very active partners, believe it or not. Mm. Wow. wow, that's that's so exciting. You know what? I really liked him in Spider-Man. I've been a huge <laughs> fan since like way back when. Um, yeah, I yeah. think I think that was you know, and that kind of reminded me of those like quirky, like mm -hmm. like you said, mm -hmm. Christopher, weird those scenes. weird, you know, scenes that that he's just so great at. Yeah, and it takes a very special actor to hone in on a presence on screen when mm -hmm. you're all by yourself, yeah. like Tom yeah. Hanks does in yeah. Castaway. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. I'm totally seeing this by the way on Friday, but Scream Six. Box office hit. Oh, for sure. We have a new film in the Scream franchise, and this one stars Jenna Ortega, who's so popular right now after the success of Wednesday on Netflix. So in this incarnation, uh, it's more it's in a city rather than a college town like usual, and this is actually the first time that Nev Campbell is not in the cast playing the lead Sydney uh, Prescott. So it's a new direction for the film, uh, but it's probably going to be just as fun and scary. Yeah, I love going back and catching up this on all of them. Oh, yes. You know? I heard this one's really gory, though, so yeah. if you're not a gore person. Oh, I might want to stay away. Yeah. Yeah. I'm marathon kind of a... First. Oh, what was that, Christopher? Do your marathon first and then go yes, see yes, it. Yes, yeah, there yes. you go. That's some good <laughs> advice. I'm looking forward to this next movie. If superheroes are more of your thing, Shazam! Fury of the Gods opens this weekend. I'm usually not a superhero fan, but I saw the trailer for this movie, and it looks pretty good. Oh yeah, it looks a lot like a lot of fun. Uh, this is the second installment of the DC story of Billy Batson, who's a kid imbued with godlike powers, and all his friends in this one also have them. Um, so this is played by Zachary Levi, not John Krasinski. I lost a bet to my wife about that. I think they look exactly the same. Uh, but this one we also have Dame Helen Mirren and Lucy Liu, who play the Daughters of Atlas. They're the foils of the film. So it's a big superhero movie for everybody. Yeah, really a great cast cool. there too. Okay, this one I was just it just was brought to my attention. One of my friends over the weekend is like obsessed with this show. So if anyone would rather stay home, Hulu's History of the World Part Two is now out. Yeah, this one's really fun. I'm a big Mel Brooks fan, and this is the long-awaited uh, follow-up to his History of the World Part One, which was a film from 1981. This one is a, still has that comedy sketch format. But this is on, it's on the small screen, it's on Hulu. So it's co-written by Brooks and a ton of contemporary comedians like Nick Bull and Wanda Sykes and a couple. Um, but it's a very contemporary version of the film, uh, but it still has that Mel Brooks style. It's a lot of fun and really funny and some great people in it. <laughs> this is one of the shows where he was playing it in another room, and I, I was like, wait a second, what did they say? So then I, I ran to the room, I rewatched it, because it's just one of those shows that I think is pretty funny. Um, I haven't watched it yet. I've seen bits and parts mm -hmm. of it. So. There's no, a lot of those moments. <laughs> I mean, Mel Brooks. I mean, we're talking Spaceballs, you know, yeah. so many iconic movies that he's yeah. made, and he has a way of just making you, like, belly laugh, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs>